because actually all human beings are artists. And what is their artistry? It's their life. Think about that. You're a director, a producer, an actor, sometimes a extra. <laughs> you know? Don't mind me over here. I'm all just, of it. Yeah. You're everything. You're a one person performer and you're the also the recorder of the performance you're everything so the true artwork is yourself but what we're talking about artists like a painter a musician those are just attributes or expressions of it but they they are no more an artist than the person you know riding the bus you know down broadway can you imagine the artist painting the the character and feeling the pain of the character or feeling the sorrow or the suffering of the character. Well, that's what they do all day. I was just going to say that's what yeah. we're doing right that's now. That's what we do all day. You know, It's funny. We, we might not be able to express it through uh, animation on a uh, that's sheet what of paper we're doing. But, or into pixels, but that's what we're doing. When you can get visuals like this, it helps you connect with, holy crap. Yeah. I, I'm in this tango. I'm observing the tango. You're playing and the I'm music directing the tango. The tango. Yeah. It, it's all one. And and we never really got to the end of that where Frank uh, got to, but where we were bringing it back from and bringing it to was everything is right now. Um, and what we mean by that is a future moment, et cetera. Everything like that in future tense or past tense is simply an idea. Everything um, happens in this moment, in this now, and it's only as you can experience it. Frank, what was that quote that you had about it, the experience of in this moment? Can you no write idea. it down before this? No, I don't believe so. You did? <laughs> See, there it goes again. Check it. I swear. I thought you did. <laughs> oh, on my paperwork. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Something about experience. No, nah, I don't yeah, I know yeah. you did. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Here it's we are what in the present is. moment. It is what it is. But you, you see come. what I'm yeah. saying? But yeah, we don't need a quote. We don't need to memorize anything. Because at every moment, I could say something different. Because memorizing a quote, a lot of times people put on a t-shirt a quote, but they don't really get the gist of the meaning. I'm like, take a quote by Einstein or um, Socrates and make it your own. And the way you make it your own it's like discover the understanding of what they talk about, and they can use it for relevant term, but do not like people say quotes all day, and it's like yeah, but do you do you feel what they meant when they said it? So when Socrates said, "I know, I know nothing," what does it feel? What do you think he felt like when he said it? Not the actual words, because any, anyone can um, say that. When Einstein said, "Either everything's a miracle, nothing's a miracle." How did he come to know that? What was he feeling that propagated that information come through to them? All right? And what happens, we go over time, and whether it's a character from, you know, 5,000 years ago, 2,000 years ago, or five days ago, it's this feeling of vibration coming through and trying to explain it on this plane in which we understand in language. So if you speak in English... Um, not too many variants in words have changed, so we keep saying it. But I could say it slightly different. But it's the feeling that allowed it to come through me. So the words just place it that way. So I, I suggest and I encourage everyone to come in with their own understanding of every quote. So if you read the Bible or you read something from Socrates, know that you're the one writing it as well. They are no smarter than you although you can convince yourself that you aren't and you can have the experience that they are <clears throat> therefore you're deficient but they aren't <clears throat> at some level we're greater because we're here now and they aren't so to speak and there was one of the, a quote from jesus said even the least among us can do as i've already done and even greater the least among us so somebody that <clears throat> is at a lower frequency it's not better or worse, can then do as I have done and even greater as we move on. Because greater is the understanding of expansion. We're constantly expanding. <clears throat> so why would I grab onto something knowing it's, it's gonna, I'm going to expand to another place where I already have that? I don't need to. And these are concepts, just like holding on to something isn't real, 
no one really can hold on to something. It just becomes a concept. And as we loosen this up and start to understand this, we won't have to memorize anything. But I'll know what I need to know in the moment in which I'm in. And all of a sudden, when I'm in this moment, I get like a little nudge from the universe, a little spark, a little packet of information. It's an impulse. And an impulse allows the words to come through, but the impulse is what's changing it. So it's like a frequency vibration will come out of my mouth, and it's your ears that make it audible into the, into the, the language of what we call English. But without your ears, there is nothing other than just a vibrational frequency that has to be dictated. So I'm getting a packet of frequency vibration, and I'm dictating it out the best I can. Yes, my English teacher thinks it could be better, but, uh, you know, mm -hmm. hey, I'm, I'm improving or I'm, I'm expanding. And this is all we're doing. So it's more than just a replication of just spouting out. We're more than just a speaker. We're actually have the frequency and emotion onto something to actually bring a new to something, right? Because if Jesus was still here, if Buddha was still here, they would be saying different things. They would still wouldn't be using the same quote as they've used 2,000 or 2,500 years ago, depending on which figure we're talking about. They wouldn't. Einstein would have a whole different outlook on life if he was still alive. He would have to because he continuously expands. He He's not that. like, like I said back in 1905, <laughs> it's all relative, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah. And, and that's, so when we tap into this place in the present moment without trying to think, because you can't think in the present moment, you can contemplate. And in contemplation, just allowing the energy to move in a direction in which you choose or prefer to go. And then in that, the energy flow streams. And when, it, when the energy flows through me, I get this vibrational emotion feeling. And then words just come out of my mouth. And this is what people call speaking the truth. And it's my truth, my relevant truth at the moment. <clears throat> I don't expect it to be everyone's truth. But I'm encouraging you not to lay your hat on my truth. I'm saying place your hat on your own truth. I'm just showing you, just like when I listened to Eddie Van Halen play guitar, I had to play my own guitar. I couldn't let him. But because I heard his guitar, oh, oh my God, I want to pick up the car and play the instrument the universe gave me in the frequency in which I play it. And the universe has keep giving me expansive instruments, always, constantly, it never ends. I didn't come here to replicate or duplicate. I came here to create anew. Every human being did. We just think we're not, but you are. If you complain, you got a different complaint today. <laughs> you know, if you're whining, you got a different whine today. If you love somebody, it's a different love. It's a different expansive love. To think we're not expanding is funny. To think we're not letting go is funny. We are letting go. You just don't realize it. You cannot not let go. Just like every breath that comes in of oxygen, you have to release the carbon dioxide out of the body to only get more oxygen. We just think we're not doing it, but we are. We think we're not enlightened, but we are. We think we're not spiritual, but we are. We think we have to know a certain amount or understand a certain amount to be spiritual. I'm like, no, I'll never understand enough to know that I know nothing. And that's the truth. But that keeps me moving into the unknown to know, to want to know more in the experience and dive in and open up and allow it. I'm like, wow, can't believe. Like, how many times have you and I got together? Like, you're not going to believe this. <laughs> and it's every time. You're not going to believe this. Oh, yeah. yeah. It never gets old. It never gets old. Just like. Because this, of spontaneity. Yeah, because I'm not memorizing anything. But there is an infinite source of information out there. And it's like to them, it's like it's like a little funnel and you have like the whole ocean. You're trying to dump into it. You're never going to run out of water, people, because the time you even get that get that little all the ocean into the funnel, it evaporated and ended back up in the ocean anyway, and duplicate itself through another osmosis aspect. This infant, this information is infinite. 
Well, if we were to take a dropper and fill it with water from the ocean and drop just one drop, wouldn't that same drop still be the ocean? It would be. It would be part of the ocean. But it isn't. That's what we are. Yeah, but know this. It isn't the ocean, but it's a part of the ocean. Just like I am from the source God, but I myself, as Frank Daly, am not God, but I have infinite information in a fractal understanding of God. So I also understand that I didn't make the instrument, but I'm learning how to play it in this plane and field in which we're in. So, you know, the guitar didn't create music. The guitar expresses music along with the guitar player. But where did music come from? And that's Frank, is to express. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's it. The, that's it. That's the point of this being instrument that we carry. Yes, the instrument our instrument. Yeah. The universal yeah. instrument that yeah. that when you begin to look at the body as not you and as the functions of hearing, tasting, smelling, touching for experience, it's nice because you let go of all these ideas about yourself of who you are and what you've been carrying because you see yourself not as the body. So the ideas of weight, this, hair color, lack of hair, all these types of things begin to fall away because you realize, oh, that's very funny. That's like me looking at um, a calculator and not liking it because of its color, Yeah. not liking it because of its size, uh, not liking it because of the way it takes it up on a table. Your body is a tool. Your body is an instrument. Yeah, it is. And also, I think about, like, let's go back to, like, guitar players like Eddie Van Halen. So he took, like, a... Um, like almost he, a Charvel, and he took it apart. So he changed it and modified it slightly. But not, he didn't drastically change a guitar to play it different than any other guitar player in history played it. Not better, just different. Um, because he still did that. So our instruments are very relatively the same, but we play different, we express differently. So my hair, my body, and stuff like that, that is part and parcel of it. So I have the ability to take uh, you know, some type of strat and have three pickups and just take out two and just put one humbucker in the end and just with a, a Floyd Rose, whatever, and change the output of it. I change it slightly, and I have the right to do that, and that's part of what I'm doing. But it's not till I play it. So I, my physical body is the instrument. The eye of who I am, the understanding, is the player of it. You need both. We are duality in our life. You know, I remember Eckhart Tolle saying this. When he came to his realization of that he was spirit or he was talking to himself, when he came, he came to realization that there was two of him because how would he have the conversation where I can't take this life anymore? Like he had these thoughts. But who knows this? And he... He found it very peculiar to the point where he realized, wait a minute, if there's two of me, which one's in charge, so to speak? And I'm putting that to my own words. It's the observer of the character that's hearing, that's I all, can't take this anymore. That's all Frank and I are yeah. ever talking about. That's it. Is that right there? Is yeah, realizing, but, wow, because Eddie Van I can Halen, observe this yeah, character. Yeah, Eddie Van Halen could have gave me his guitar, but I still can't play it the way he played it. But it's the same guitar. So who we are is just an instrument how it's played the I am so to speak is is the player of it you know what I'm saying that's that's who we empirically are but yet the player still needs the instrument in order to express itself I am is the first person singular of to be and that's what Frank and I are talking about to be I am we live in a duality world so the guitarist needs the guitar but what is a guitarist without a guitar? <laughs> so what is the What I is am? consciousness without body? Yeah, exactly. Because you won't be able to express it. So once we realize the I am and the body are one in all in order to express the experience in which we're having. So it's not about diminishing or pushing the body aside. That's why, you know. I take care of my guitar. <laughs> but I, I think that's, uh, <laughs> I, I like where you're going too. with that because it's important. What, like that understanding of the instrument, the body, trees, a tree has consciousness. A tree is conscious, okay? A tree is a being. A dog, a dog is conscious. 
they're so in the moment that you know it's great. This is why we love our, our pets, our dogs, our animals. Unless they piss the, on the dog, tree. the tree, right? <laughs> the dog, the tree. They don't have the capability that the human being body was given, and this tool, oh. this instrument, is so powerful. It can create anything you'd like to experience. Yeah. I don't know if a tree has that capability. I've never. Well, I, I'm not is, a tree at this moment. It, it, what I, it is, I'm not a dog at this moment. It's it's relative to the tree, and so the thing is, is when humans can kind of mix up and think like, you know, oh, I could, I could run down the block, but the tree can't. But the tree's like, I don't. That's in a linear way of thinking. Yeah, it's a totally it's like the tree's apple like, orange. Yeah, the tree's like, I, I didn't come here to run, you know, and well, the bird can look at you. It's like, yeah, try that's like a fish and, climb a tree thing. Yeah, so. We always try to relate everything to us, but um, this is where we get mixed up. Is because we think everything ought to be like us. To this be or that. Same. Yeah, it's this or that. If it's not, we must be at a higher level. You know, the thing is, that may be true. It may not be true. I don't know enough to even claim that to be. I just know in the relevant terms to where I am. Like again, I've said this before. When I always hear people, and I say it too, and. I try to refrain from saying it, but people are like, well, oh, most people. I'm like, I don't know most people. They claim to be 8 billion people on the planet, and I'm not uh, denying there is or isn't. I'm not here to debate that. But I don't know anywhere near 8 billion people. Like the people I know, I barely know myself because they keep expanding. So who do I really know? I know a, frag, a fractal of myself as it expands. I knew myself at 18. I knew myself at 20. I knew myself yesterday. But do I know my future self? That's my imagination. What persona do I want to move into? How do I want to play my future self? What instrument do I want to do? How, you know, do I want to put a new set of strings on it? Do I want to um, put a different distortion pedal in between the guitar and the amp? These are the, the expressive and the, the movement we have in this linear perspective, three-dimensional, fourth, one of time. So we're not here to deny it. But if you understand, you'll never get it done. So stop trying to get it done. You actually relax into the moment because you'll never get it done. 